Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. My heart is aching, no oh, what the hell I don't know you're so far away I don't know you're so far away My guitar could use a set of new strings I get stoned and then the telephone rings Well, my name's Tate McLean, singer-songwriter, kind of the uh, Americana style. I've always appreciated songwriters and, you know, three-minute song man kind of thing with a story behind it. So that's what I try to do. And when did you first get into music? Well, I was a drummer first. As a kid, I always wanted to be a singing drummer. I got a guitar when I was probably 12 and couldn't really play it. And I was in bands with, like, older kids. I was the drummer. And I started picking up on a little guitar here and there and then they all graduated on me, so then I just ditched the drums and started playing guitar and started writing songs after I could put chords together, pretty much. And then there was a luthier in my hometown, was my neighbor, actually, and I took my guitar there to get it fixed or strung or something as a kid. And once I had some songs written, I went back to him. I was probably 15 years old, 16, and he would have me come to the open mic night at this little blues bar, and I would, uh, share my songs. I got hooked from a young age. <laughs> so you were performing originals that young in front of an audience already? Yeah. I mean, and the first time I went in there, I was too scared to even get on the mic. So I sat at the bar and there's two old Vietnam vets and I got done with my first song and they went, ooh, boy. <laughs> and I was like, well, I think I can do this. This will be fine. <laughs> so from then on, I would get on the mic and I had, you know, some originals. I don't know how good they were, but I mean, it was always similar style to what I do now. So Her mind is dark Black as the soil A worn out heart Only bombs motor oil There's a fire that's burning It's about the only light I'll see Lucky 
boy like me One thing she hates most Is lying through your teeth Swear up and down But now it doesn't mean a thing Well, you made her love you Said she didn't have to doubt Better learn to duck, boy When the truth comes out Broke a ball or insides or down to die. Her pride is burning, his lies are deep, dark, wild. She'll just sweep you out. With all the dust and leaves Only one who sees it Is a lucky boy like me Only one who sees it Is a lucky boy like me Thank you. I Got Full Moon Fever is probably my most straightforward love song I've ever written. It's, it's one of my more recent songs and it's one of my favorites. I get a good response from that one. It's a kind of different from some of the other things that I do, but because there's kind of some darkness. I got like Only Love You When I'm High is like kind of a murder ballad. I mean, it kind of ranges the spectrum of good times and sad and, you know, all the weirdness in between. <laughs>
I see her shadow float through the trees. So she is with me. Together we drift off on the breeze. Well, it's been so damn long since I have seen her. And then she sings that song And gives me full moon fever When she sings that song She gives me full moon fever Well, I may be wrong But I know I could never leave her I may be wrong, but I know I could never leave her. Thank you very much. What are some influences on your sound? Like what? bands did you looked up to bands. growing up and stuff like that? As a kid, my mom was really into the old country. Jimmy Rogers and Lefty Frizzell and Johnny Cash and all the way up the line, you know. So I had that at a really young age. You know, she used to sing them to me at bedtime and things like that. Had a little record player as a kid, played 45s of it. And when I was a teenager, it was probably the whole, like, weird grunge thing in the 90s there. And then I just started going back to the 70s and 60s and then Really going back into the old, like, pre-war blues and country. I really like that kind of stuff. And there was kind of a shortage of new material like that for a long time, but in the past, like, I'd say 15 years, there's really been an underground come out, and now it's really kind of a big thing. It's really exciting. There's a lot of good bands now that I really like in that whole, you know, American sound, rock, blues, country, kind of bluegrass, things like that. And now with the Internet, like, you can... You check can. out so much. It's so easy to find other artists you like now, even if they're just from some small town in Montana or Minnesota or wherever, you know? And it's easy to get their music, stream their music, and then follow what they're doing and go see them, you know, support them or play shows with them or get them to your town or whatever. The ease of access to music, I really like. Because when I was a kid, it was, you know, $20 a CD, you know, and if you wanted anything that wasn't at Walmart in my town, you had to go talk to an old guy who had <laughs> records or something, you know, like, or whatever. That's how I found out about a lot of music, too, was playing those open mics in that bar so young. Not only are the guys who are playing amazing, you know, Joe Price from Iowa and Eric Noden from Chicago and things like that. You learn a lot from just watching that, but then you know, they would play in between sets. They'd be, oh, put on this record or put on, you know, whatever. So all these old timers are playing this great music. So that's how I got to pick up on that because it was really hard when I was young. All right. Blood drips from the moon. I do what I please. Well, now that I'm leaving, Shake the dust from my feet Out of the box And into the back Down off the blood The end is all bad Homesick Homeless Make a sound Shook down Stoic Not one for the ground Well cash turns to ashes Trust turns to dust Like black striped molasses Blood turns to rust You beg me to tell you that you 
already know I've grown too damn weary to pine anymore A knife A needle And this hole in my chest A life full of evil Cursed me at best. I bleed fire from my eyes. I blow smoke from my nose. Now that I'm leaving, I shook out my clothes. Don't want no damn whiskey. I don't want no damn gin. Pot tells the kettle you're getting too thin. I keep playing this game. I know I won't win. Wash the blood from your hands. You poor child of sin. Beg me to tell you But you already know I've grown too damn weary To pine anymore I've grown too damn weary To pine Thank you. How do you approach songwriting? Is it kind of you have a tune in mind or do you work on the lyrics first? Sometimes. Sometimes it's just picking around on a guitar and you get a couple, you know, things that sound good. And then the words just kind of start bouncing off from there. Usually I have my phone so I can record because I just start playing something and singing with it. Like whatever I just feel or whatever happens to pop out. And then it's like I listen back later. It's like, oh yeah, those are great lines. That's a great line. And I can kind of build it from there. Usually that's how it happens. Sometimes a line will hit me out of the blue or whatever. I've had one of the songs I'm going to play is, uh, it came to me like I was falling asleep one night and it popped in my head. And it was before phones where it was easy to, you know, type everything down. So I had a piece of paper and a pen. I wrote the two lines down and went to bed, just fell asleep. You know, and I woke up and it wasn't there. Like the pen was defunct or whatever. So like I had to use a pencil and like <laughs> <laughs> make it come out, you know, like they do. And it worked. It was amazing. I got the two lines and then built a song from there. And it's one I still play. I love to play. Like a film kinda, noir, but with music. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you not? 
knock it It was something you never tried Thank you. So what's it like for you as a performer? What's the experience of playing live like for you? Well, playing live's always been the thing, you know, that it's where you take your song from home and you go play it in front of people and you see what they, how they react, you know? I mean, granted, it can be hit or miss places, but when you're in a room where people want to hear music and they react to your song, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Because it might mean something completely different to them, but just the fact that it made them feel something is, you know, what it's about. I and mean, it's really gratifying to play songs that people want to listen to or that, you know, want to hear it again or remember it the next time you're there and say, hey, could you play this song again? You know, I really appreciate that. And it's just, that's why you keep doing it. You know, I, I mean, I write music for myself to feel good. And when that happens, I'm like, okay, well, I'll introduce this to someone else. All right. And when it makes them feel good, then it, it kind of validates what I'm doing for me anyway. You know, because you never know if it's a good song or not <laughs> until someone else hears it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Turn the corner, I pull in your 
drive And through your window I see that other guy Soon I'll be 90 miles away Soon I'll be 90 miles away I've got a woman up there anyway Soon I'll be 90 miles away I got a woman up there Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Backrows. Thanks, you guys. My name's Tate McLean. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.